So, hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today we are doing my seasonal favorites. Uh, so this is from June to August, so three months. And these are like the some, my summer favorites. And luckily I didn't have too many to pick from because uh, I have read some really good books this year. So yeah, I had to take away three. So yeah, it didn't go that bad, but yeah. Let's just talk about my favorites. Uh, it's no, these don't have like a particular order about them. These are all just my favorites. Um, you won't know like, ranking or anything on anything until a possibly if I am able to do that um, like at the beginning of next year but I don't know because it's going to be really really difficult so let's just talk about them in no particular order so these are basically in the order that, that I have read them so the first first one is Rhythm, Choi and Malakin and this is like the third Mariana Zapata book I read. And in this one, we are basically following this girl. And she is without a job. And her boyfriend just broke up with her and she has to move in with her parents. So her brother says that, why don't you spend the summer with us? Uh, and uh, be on tour with us and eight other guys that she doesn't know basically on tour so basically what happens is that she goes there because she has nothing else to do and there she meets this is Sasha Mulliken Sashka Sasha and yeah this was so good i really really love this um so yeah like next i think it might be next month if i am able to get through all of the ones that i am wanting to get through you will i will talk about my ranking for all mariana zapata books because then i will have read every single one so yeah that will be then you will get my ranking so yeah and then i also will talk a little bit more about different things so yeah and then we have take a hint danny brown and this is the second book in the brown sisters series and in this one we are following danny brown and she is basically she don't want commitment and basically she basically is saved uh, by this guy that she works with and basically um, she has this organization that basically all of a sudden gets a lot of attention because of this so basically he asks her to fake date and basically she figures out that maybe she can can you know get like this friends with benefits relationship with him things happen and yeah it's really good i loved this i don't know if i like this one or chloe brown best um i have to say yeah i really love the representation talia hybrid has like chloe brown she has like chronic pain and danny brown she is uh, bisexual um i cannot say e brown yet you will eventually hear about her as well so and then we have from luke up with love and in this one we are following this girl i i'm gonna call it this girl because i i just am terrible with name names um like even my favorite books i don't remember names but we are following this girl and she is a ice skater and basically um she 
went from like uh, dancing single or I almost said to dancing in pairs however her last partner did church and now she's on her own and she's like on the verge to you know just saying I'm done but then uh, basically Ivan Lukov comes and they are like enemies they don't like each other and basically he he asks for one season with her on the ice and I mean she still wants to be an ice skater so she agrees this is a friends to lovers no not friends to lovers uh, enemies to lovers I really really loved this um, yeah you know I always remember the boy's name so yeah I loved this it's definitely high up there in my mariana zapata books for the moment when i haven't finished all of them and then we have heart supper volume four so this is the fourth volume in the heart supper series graphic novel series and we are following nick and charlie and charlie is openly gay and basically he falls for Nick and Nick he is not so sure but he soon figures out that maybe there is something and he is kind of questioning what kind of what is he so now we have moved on from the first volume and now we are at the fourth volume and things arises and it's just so so good I love this series so much it takes up so many difficult topics and yeah, read it. Then we have Archer's voice, and in this one we have along this girl, and she basically needed to get out of the town where she lived, and um, she basically kind of runs away from her past, and in this town that she kind of arrives at, she gets a job, and there, and then she meets Archer, and he is mute and um yeah basically she starts to really like him and um then you know the question is can they can they heal together from their past or is it going to destroy them so i loved this i almost had a heart attack at the end and yeah It was just so so good then we have the final empire and in this world basically the bad guy won and now there is these people who want to rebel and the leader is something called a mistborn and in this world basically you can ingest metals and use them for power and a mistborn can ingest all the metals and use all of the elements and basically he finds another mistborn called Vin and um, maybe she can be the basically path or the piece to win this war against the bad guy it's really really good it, I mean Brandon Sanderson books are long but they are so worth it once you get into them and yeah, I have loved, so far I have loved all of Brandon Sanderson's books. Um, I guess we will have to see to see how that is going to end, but so far I'm really loving all of them. Then we have Inked in Lies, and in this one we are following Leela and we are following uh, Nova. And basically, uh, they kind of grew up together after things happened with her family basically she moved in to his house but I mean he only lived there for a few years until he you know moved out so she has always had a crush on him and basically he she is a Casanova that's why he's called Nova not his real name but yeah, he's kind of called Casanova. And basically she she wants to help to kind of take the rivaling 
a motorcycle club down and basically she offers the only thing that she can which is her body and um, yeah no one doesn't take that so well and now he kind of must decide on what is he going to do so this is dual perspectives i love getting nova's point of view and see what he feels so yeah it was so so good the fallen man is a series that is so dear to my heart right now and i can't wait to rest last i mean Gianna Darling, she can write as many of all of men series like books as she wants, and I will read them all. Then we have the best thing, and in this one we are following a girl, and basically she met this guy, and basically after he left, she tried to contact him over and over and over again. Uh, because there was things that she needed to talk about, but he never picked up. And then she kind of says that it's fine, it's over, I am not going to use anything more of my time and energy if he doesn't want to talk to me. So basically, she just stops and then Jonah, which is the guy, comes back. So he hasn't gotten the them yet um yeah this is i have to say this marianne sabata books is not people's favorite i relate to it because she was ghosted i have been ghosted so it's not fun but yeah it, i found it really good there is like things that people might not like in this book but i really enjoyed it and then we have the lies of Locke lamora so in this one we are following Lock Lamora, and basically he is a thief and he steals from the rich but the poor never sees anything because he takes it all for himself and basically we follow him in two timelines which is when he was young and then now years later when he is the leader of this group and basically that they get mixed up in something and now kind of everyone's life is in danger this was so good and it's just, yeah, I loved this so much and I can't wait to continue on with the next book. The last one is Dear Aaron and in this one we are following, is her name Vanessa, I think one of them is Vanessa. And basically she signed up to write uh, one soldier who is overseas for the entire of his you know station when he's stationed there and uh, basically she is supposed to write him an email once a week and a care pack package if she feel like that but she never expected to fall in love with this guy that she was writing called Aaron so this is partly written in like emails and uh, texts and then you have like the second-ish half of the book that is written in like normal text. So yeah, I loved this so so much. Uh, I flew through this and I mean I do that with Marianne Zapata books. Like five, four, five, six hundred pages that is just like read in a day. Sometimes at least. So yeah, really enjoyed this and I can't wait to read all other Mariana, Mariana Zapata books. No matter what she comes out with, I will read it. And what I also love about Mariana Zapata, you meet people that she has written about in other books that, you know, you meet now in another book that you read. So. That was it for this video. I hope you liked it and I will see you next time for another one. Bye! When we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done